Um, I think anytime you get into into August, you start getting a little antsy to get back to training camp, and um, and that's that's how I feel right now. So especially with the additions we've added, I think you have uh, have no reason to go into the season with some positivity. So. Yeah, you know what, adding some for, for sure some uh, some new guys, uh, you know, behind the bench. But I think more than anything this year, it's going to be nice to have uh, some familiarity with uh, with the head coach. I think for me, and uh, it's my fifth year coming up, I've had. Um, I think three new co head coaches now, so um, I think when you're, it can be a good thing and a bad thing sometimes too. I think you, you finally have a guy where we can pick off where we left off, and, and um, I definitely uh, look forward to that for sure. I, I've played with Arco in the AHL and, and when he was up here. Um, you know, he, he, I think he showed that he can play here when he was here last year. Um, he performed very well, I think, with contract issues and, and, and guys stepping in. He kind of got pushed out of the way, but, um, you know, now that there's a spot kind of open, I know for him he's probably training hard and, and looking to, to, to take over that. So, um, you know, it should be interesting. I think any time you get into a camp and there's a couple spots open, I think it makes camp a lot more interesting and guys uh, you know, battle that much harder. So it's good to have that competitive edge uh, throughout your whole lineup in camp for, for spots and, and uh, depth charts. We have to start the season well because last year I think we were, <laughs> we, uh, we really dug ourselves in a hole early on and that killed us going into the, uh, going into the rest of the season. Plus it gives you confidence if you can start off winning and, and you realize you have a good team.